I watched this the other day, and um, I have to say that this movie has more action in it than The Covenant and Kandahar combined. But the only downside of this movie is um, it looks very poorly done, sadly. So it's basically he just took the Mandalorian and put it in, uh, I guess, Afghanistan or whatever this is. So this this guy, he plays this um, spec ops guy, and they're in this chopper at the beginning, and he gets hit with an RPG, and then somehow he gets knocked out, and he's falling through trees and all this, and lands on his back, doesn't get paralyzed or anything, he just gets knocked out. And um, he spends most of the movie just r running from uh, Taliban or Al-Qaeda or whatever that is, whoever he's fighting there. And um, he's just running all over the place and he's picking them off one by one and everything. And then um, he runs across this poor guy. So th this poor guy Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me um. Yeah, let's put that on. So this this poor guy is, <laughs> he's just driving, like I don't know, trying to go somewhere, and the Al Qaeda guys that are chasing this dude, they shoot the fuck out of this car, like for no reason too. Like I don't know why they shot this car up so. This guy's dying, and he's like, my kid, my kid, you have to help my kid. And um, th this, is his, this is his daughter here. So it's basically Mandalorian. He takes the daughter, and he's running with the daughter, and all these uh, Al-Qaeda Taliban guys are chasing him. Oh, and this guy, they put this guy on here that is like, a, a spitting image of Osama bin Laden. I mean, he looks exactly like him. And he's leading all these guys trying to kill this guy, and this dude's just picking them off one by one. And it's it's not a bad movie. It's just um it just looks very crappy, the the effects and everything. Like it could have it could have been way better. That that's the only complaint of this movie is the effects. But the good thing is, this movie is just nonstop fighting from beginning to end, and he's just running and sniping these guys off. A couple here, a couple there, and at the end, he gets stuck in this town, and he's having this huge shootout with these guys. And man, it's. The, the action is really good on this. That That's the one thing. It's just, um, I just kind of wish that it had better effects. But I'll take action over effects any day, I guess, because, man, it's, it's just nonstop action. So um, if you don't mind, like, crappy effects and stuff, but good action, I would suggest this. It's way better than Kandahar and uh, The Covenant put together, I'll say that. I mean, those had huge, insane budgets on it. Overall, though, it's it's not bad. I, I watched the whole thing through, so... Uh, if you see it or... Want to watch it? I guess it's it's a decent movie. A lot of a lot of good action on there. It's just the Mandalorian, the whole thing with the kid and all that. He takes the kid and they're running. And anyways, um, I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else to say about it. I mean, it's just a really good action movie. It's just shitty effects is all. Like it, you you'll see what I mean if you see it. Like it's just the effects are. I don't know, like, I hate to say Adobe Photoshopped or something, but <laughs> you'll, you'll laugh on some parts, but 
the shootouts and everything are really are pretty good. I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.